Hello and welcome everybody. Today I'm going to teach you how to soundproof a basement ceiling. So if you are trying to reduce noise from coming from the floor above or reduce, reduce noise that's coming from your room to the floor above you, if you are making a soundproof home recording studio, a soundproof office, maybe a soundproof Airbnb apartment or a mother-in-law apartment in your basement, this video is for you. Before we dive in, I do want to let you know that I have a free resource for you. This is my free soundproofing workshop. It is 45 minutes of in-depth teaching going over exactly how to soundproof a room from start to be to finish. So if that's something you're interested in learning more about, check out the workshop at soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. All right, let's jump in to this lesson on how to soundproof a basement ceiling. <laughs> All right, so here is one of my client's projects. And as you can see, we've got what are known as TGI joists here, uh, 16 inches on center, which make up their uh, ceiling for the basement above, uh, below, and the floor above in their house. And then what we have here are called hush frame rafts, which some of you may be familiar with. I use these a lot in my designs these days because these really help me decouple the sheet boards or the materials on my ceiling from the TGI joists above, meaning the rest of the house. So if you're going to create a soundproof ceiling, you really need to decouple it from your ceiling joists completely. So the way we do that is use these special materials called hush frame rafts. And I'm gonna show you guys real quick. This is an example of the hush frame rafts right here. It shows the silicone in the middle. This is the actual decoupling thing. The sound can't transfer easily through the silicone. So this is what's decoupling your ceiling from the actual TGI joist. So this long part gets screwed in to the TGI joist, and then this part uh, gets screwed into one by three furring channels. As you can see here, they screw it in, um, and then they've got the one by three furring channel attached like this. There's a 15 sixteenths of an inch gap. The total is 15 sixteenths of an inch gap from here to the bottom of the one by three furring. Um, I'm gonna show you guys also just at the bottom here, you can certainly read this whole thing on your own. Uh, this is the, diagram we're going to be using for my client here. So 16 inches on center for the joist and then 24 inches on center. And then you can do a 32 inch pattern in the field as they say it across the ceiling. This will give you a max load of 10 pounds per square foot. Two layers of five eighths is usually 4.6 pounds per square foot. Um, so just keep that in mind as you're doing your load calculations that you don't exceed the total load of the hush frame raft design layout. So as we go back to our SketchUp file, um, we can see here that we've got a few different layers. We've got an OSB layer, which for those of you building studios, I highly recommend using an OSB layer because you can screw in your acoustic clouds easily into the ceiling if the first layer is made of OSB sheathing. It allows you to really hang anything from the ceiling more easily rather than trying to find the hush frame rafts to, to hold up anything in the future. Because you don't want to screw into the TGI joists because those uh, would short circuit your system altogether. So there's not too much that's crazy about this other than how it connects to our uh, walls on the exterior of our basement. So here we have the retaining wall, the CMU uh, block wall, and what I always do is leave a quarter inch gap around the entire perimeter of my ceiling and fill that with backer rod and acoustic caulk on each layer of that I install. So I'll do the first layer, backer rod and acoustic caulk it, second layer, backer rod and acoustic caulk it, and then finally, if I'm doing three or four layers, I'll do the same thing so that no sound could pass through this tiny little quarter inch gap around the perimeter of my ceiling. So you can see here that even when it's touching a interior stud wall, the same thing is happening right here uh, in my ceiling. Now let's talk about how this works with a double wall system because if you have two walls, which is like a typical soundproof structure, uh, you're gonna have to leave a space for the double wall. So if I turn off my ceilings right now and I pull up, you can see that I've got two walls to make this a soundproof wall as well as a soundproof ceiling. So with my soundproof wall, I don't want it to come all the way up to the same height as my ceiling wall because I want my ceiling to pass over top of that soundproof wall and also not touch. So I leave a quarter inch gap between the ceiling 
end my soundproof wall and the drywall here, as you can see, uh, so that you can actually put some backer rod and acoustic sealant in there and make sure it's airtight. So if we put this back on, you guys can see how that is now connected. It's airtight, but it's actually not technically touching because sound can't travel through the backer rod and acoustic sealant uh, easily. So that goes around the entire ceiling. Um, sorry, as we kind of do some jerky movements in SketchUp. Uh, and you can see that perimeter all the way around uh, my interior ceiling here. You won't be able to see it like that. It won't look like that in the end because the backer rod uh, and the acoustic caulking will end up being white and then you would mud and tape over it like usual. Uh, just the interior layer right here behind the taping and mudding on your, dr your drywall before it's finished will have that little gap there. Now, one thing that's important is we have two soundproof rooms in this design. If I take off my ceiling again, you can see that there is this room here and then there's this room here. This is a little ISO room for the client. So I don't want my ceiling over here to technically touch my ceiling over here. So how do I do that? Well, let me show you. So what I've done here is I've actually got the hush frame rafts. This is some blocking put in so I can put a hush frame raft where there is not a TGI joist. And I don't let them touch here, but they're very close. And then I don't let my sheet boards touch either. So my drywall and my OSB, I put, you guessed it, a quarter inch gap there. And then I fill each layer again with, you guessed it, backer rod and acoustic caulk so that they don't actually send sound transmissions from this room to this room, short circuiting my two rooms from each other. So there's a lot to think about here, right? It's not just some basic like, oh, I'll just put a ceiling across the whole ceiling and voila, it's done. Um, and you also can't have your double wall system partition go all the way up and connect to your joist because that would short circuit the thing again. So there's a lot of things you gotta think about when you're designing a soundproof ceiling. This is just a little short video to show you how I design my own studios for my clients. And I hope it was helpful for those of you who are doing it on your own when you're trying to think about how you're going to isolate your basement ceiling. For those of you who may be thinking, man, this is a lot. That looks like a lot of work, what he just did. It is a ton of work, and it takes a lot of experience and thinking to make sure you do every little aspect right. If you feel like it would be smart to hire me to help you out, uh, definitely sign up for a soundproof clarity call at soundproofyourstudio.com and then click on the soundproof clarity call button. Uh, you can also just type in soundproofyourstudio.com slash step one, the number one, and that will take you to the same page. And then you can just click book a call and you'll sign up on my Calendly right away. Uh, and I'd look forward to spending 30 minutes talking with you over Zoom. Uh, for those of you who might not be ready for that, I still have that free soundproofing workshop. It is 45 minutes of in-depth teaching. Just go to soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. Again, my name is Wilson Harwood. I I am a soundproofing expert, a studio designer, and acoustician based in Nashville, Tennessee, and I look forward to teaching you more about soundproofing and room acoustics next week. Thanks so much for watching.